Hello everyone, welcome back to Malacca Vlog Part 2. It's been an amazing first day and today our second day continues with another adventure. Super hot and very sunny, 10.30 right now. As you can see I'm having an umbrella to shade myself because the sun is just too hot and burning right here in Malacca. And where are we now? We are at Masjid Salat Malacca. Yeah! Malacca Straits Mosque. That's where we are. Malacca Straits Mosque. One of the big tourist attractions over here in Malacca. Just look how magnificent the building is. It's quite big and imposing. And what's special about this mosque, it is known as the Filting Mosque because it was built on reclaimed land. So sadly, we're not able to enter the mosque because we didn't dress appropriately. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we are wearing shorts, yeah. which is not allowed because you need to wear covered um, bottoms. There are stilts that support the weight of the mosque. And it overlooks into the sea with a nice horizon. Destination is the Maritime Museum. Look at it. It's a ship. Here are the ticket prices. 5 ringgit for a local, 10 ringgit for an international person. So let's go in this ship. It's super interesting guys. This maritime museum is actually inside this ship. And this ship is a replica of a previous ship that came to Malacca before called the Flor de la Mar. A Portugal ship that was meant to plunder stuff from Malacca but it sank on the way to Portugal. Hence they did this as a, as a memory I suppose. And now visitors can enter the ship to see what it was like to be a sailor. not bad I guess but I didn't expect it to be so big we're going even further down it's really deep you know we are like two two stories down now stepping on a trap door am I <laughs> yeah oh, wow. if I pull this open you might fall in Okay. <laughs> but what, what, what happens in the travel? <laughs> what we found in the exhibition is a traditional game which it all seems to want to play. It is a traditional Malay game called Chongkat and they use marble beads with this long um, boat shaped board. Technically I forgot how to play. Even I forgot how yeah, to play. I think it revolves around passing the marbles around. Six, this one Something like that. But if you guys know this game, please comment below what you guys think. Childhood games, man. It's so old. Yeah. Right, we are having lunch now, but we are starting with dessert. This is our local chendo. Shave ice with gula melaka or palm sugar. You can add your own sugar over the shave ice and drizzle. And as you dig through, you'll notice that there are hidden gems inside, like red beans and the green color string, which is the actual chendol itself. And here comes our food for lunch. We ordered four main dishes. The first we have sambal prawns. You can see the bright red color and the mini prawns inside. Second we have fried fish, chili sambal paste, sweet potato leaf, you can tell the color is very fresh. Wow, look at that. And the star of our lunch is this dish called Ayam Ponte, a very traditional Nonia cuisine food, a combination of Malay and Chinese. So this is actually fermented beans or Taochu mixed with gula melaka, with potatoes, chicken, and mushroom. Extremely, extremely local dish. Right now, I'm standing outside this pink color shop with this colonial building. And this is actually a confectionery shop that sells, I don't know, goodies, treats, food, snacks that people can buy as souvenirs. Mostly it's uh, probably Chinese snacks. I myself don't really eat because I don't eat snacks that much. Mostly I eat chocolate, if you guys know. So let's enter this place. Oh, this is dodo, which is like, in a way, this is like durian taffy. 
because it's sticky and it's tough. Just look at all of the variety. So much to choose from. What's this? Songmu biscuits. Oh, this is one of my favorite biscuits ever. Jongbia, which is sticky mouth hole flaky biscuit. What do we have over here? This is a classic snack for kids. The white yeah. rabbit creamy candy. I remember this. The wrapper is actually edible. <laughs> yeah. Isn't Which is like not very healthy, but it's a childhood snack. It's like a very milky taste and it's very chewy. So you used to eat this a lot as a kid. I know. Are you going to buy it? No, it's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness, my face is so oily from the sun. It's too hot right now, we just had lunch. And after this, we might go for a cafe and just chill because the sun was just so hot. Anywhere that is indoor, that's where we will be at. We're just getting ready now to go for our night show. It was all ready and gussied up. Yeah. Oh, you look like you're going to the beach. Yes. Are you? No. <laughs> so we're going to go to this um, night show in Malacca called Angkor, Angkor Malacca, which is a cultural show featuring more than 200 performers. And they're going to have really interesting stuff. They're going to have projection mappings, intricate costumes, and props. I think it's meant to be a reflection of what, you know, the culture is from uh, the Asia region. But I'm not really sure, so we're going to check it out and see. One of the big things in Malacca, they keep promoting all over the posters. And it lasts 17 minutes. Oh, the doorbell is here. Time to go. Oh, we are here at the car park for Encore. Look at this, it's crazy. They have a whole complex just for the show. And they built this whole car park, this multi-story car park, just for people to park to watch the show. So we just arrived. Uh, one hour early. Hopefully we can uh, you know, find something to do and kill time. But this is absolutely crazy. The whole area belongs to this show. Yes, take a look. Walking around the area. There's even an escalator made for people to go down there. So oh guys, I forgot to show you what the view of my hotel is. So I'll show you what it looks like. Take a look at that. So calm and peaceful and beautiful. You can see the horizon has blue waters. And if you look at the distance, you can see that that's where the moss is. We were there just yesterday. So right now we are packing. We are already going to leave soon. It's been a crazy two, three days. The weather was just so hot. Malacca is insanely hot, the weather. And you feel like melting, seriously. That's why I feel for Malacca. But nevertheless, very beautiful, very historical heritage area. You will learn lots of things if you walk through the areas. And you know, um, experience the local culture a lot. Oh, one thing that I want to show you guys in this hotel, which I found was really cool, which my sister pointed out was, over here, you have a pillow menu for you to choose what kind of pillows you want to get. I thought it's really cool. You see, you can have a different type of pillows over here. The natural response contour pillow, and that's this one. Whereas my sister got the goose pillow, which is, I think, this one. So, what's your opinion of the pillows? Okay, not bad. Usual goose feather. <laughs> I know, but this is the first time, right, that you can have a pillow menu. Yeah. So cool. It's quite cool. So yeah, that's it guys for our Malacca trip. It's been really fun and uh, I'm gonna go home now. I'm actually really sick. She is sick. We are living in a sickly fashion and go and we're gonna go home for rest. And that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see my other videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.